ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello there, I'm Deejin, this is War of the Visions, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, and she's back, that's right, the Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, is back, um, she's coming back, I know a lot of people were super nervous that, oh, they might never see a rerun of Lara Croft, and that want her really bad, but, uh, she is coming back, so fear not, uh, it is the 30th anniversary of Crystal Dynamics, so they're bringing back Lara Croft and her card. And her mission, so you can farm her uh, weapon as well. Now, uh, let's start off with that stuff, shall we? Um, Lara Croft is back. This is actually really exciting. For, I know a lot of people either started after she came last time or just didn't manage to pull her, so you'll get another chance. Honestly, if you want her, I would say go all in because who knows if we're ever going to see her again she's a water unit she's main job tomb raider which is a, a ranged uh, gunner she also has gunner and ranger so she's so much range um she's really good in general just uh when you need a ranged unit and yeah i don't know she's she's just she's got it all she's got the gunner she's got the ranger and she's got her own uh job uh, and that being said, there's also this card. Now, you're going to get the card for free just from logging in, so if you want to build the card, it's going to be pretty easy. You're just going to need to collect the shards, but there's going to be a bingo board for it too, so that'll uh, be one way to um, ease that burden a little bit. Uh, she'll have a bingo board too, of course, the unit. But uh, missile attack up, spirit up, and lock up for water units, and also crit damage and attack up, and crit hit rate and evasion rate. So... This is exciting to me because I know a lot of people were like stressing over possibly never getting a rerun of this because I know in uh, in FFBE some there was like some Tomb Raider units and stuff that came out like in the early years that never even got updates or reruns or something or maybe they did way later after I took a break but th this was one of the games that they were always like iffy on so this is exciting. Um, and this is really good news to everybody out there that wants to build her, and I think she's a great unit. I use her in all of my, like, uh, water clears, because, I don't know, I just love having those ranged, uh, ranged characters in there just to make that stuff easier. You can kill mobs easier from farther away and all that, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, you guys don't need to know that whole spiel anyways uh training challenge missions for her and the card also big news if you do have her don't worry there's still a little something something for you because she's also getting her ma2 uh and ma2s have been that's mastery ability too um ma2s have been very good i don't think it's uh announced exactly what her MA2 is going to be, and if it is, then I severely overlooked it, because I combed this thing pretty well. Um, but yeah, her MA2 hopefully is sweet, and that's something to look forward to for those of us that already have her. And it's going to be another uh, another little quest to run for her. Now, there she's going to get double JP and all that good stuff, her Chocobo Expedition, but where's the other stuff? Is it in the other tab? Okay, so there's going to be login gifts for her. You're going to get shards for the unit and mind spheres, as well as two tickets to try and pull for her on day four, and uh, the card, as well as some shards for the card. So the card's free, 25 free shards for the card right there, and bingo board for the card. So that already right there is a lot. That's the card plus 100 uh, shards without even pulling any, without pulling any dupes, without using stars without doing whatever other uh, options we have to acquire those. So it's very, very uh, good chunk of card shards there. Now we're going to get her event reissue, which will allow you to make these guns. It's a good gun, okay? So I honestly, I will say, even if you guys are on a break from the game, maybe somebody is watching this to check up on the game you haven't played in a while, or you're thinking about playing, maybe you haven't ever played before, it's going to be a great time to jump into this right now and farm this weapon because honestly i don't know if we're ever going to see this reran again so it might we might not get this back so i would definitely farm some of these up while you can and take advantage of the event while we have it because who knows if we'll ever see it again um but yeah there's going to be a lot of other goodies in there as well there's going to be uh the unit the card weapon plus all the normal you know rainbow stuff you can farm from it 
and whatever, all that good stuff. So I'm excited about the MA2, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I know there's a lot of people in our guild that have been looking forward to the unit, so I'm super excited for them. And for me, I'm excited about the MA2. Alright, so I talked about this card last week, I'm not going to get super into it, but Fruit of Life UR Vision card is coming out this week as well, with the rerun of the uh, Lara Croft stuff. It's got Missile Attack, Crit Hit Rate Up, and Slash Attack Resistance Up for Ice-type units. This card goes great with a brand new unit, Eliza. Um, but it's just, it's a pretty good card in general for Ice. Um, I am in semi-save mode because I'm expecting heavy pullage soon with, um, between Summer, between a couple of hundred cost units that we're getting soon, like, uh, uh, Mashri and some others. I, I can't think right now. Uh, Glaciella. Is she 100 cost, actually? I don't know. But either way, some units that I'm looking forward to. Um, and on top of that, right after that, we're getting Final Fantasy 13. And um, Final Fantasy Tactics rerun, which I don't really need anything from that one. But uh, yeah, that's another thing that's going to be in there. So I might pull for this card, but I might actually just skip and try to pull it uh, later on down the line. It's going to join Anima in the list of cards that I do not earn own. Um, but yes, so it's going to have a bingo board. All right, so here are the MA2s for the rest of the characters that uh, are not Lara Croft. It's going to be for uh, Venera, Luel, Dario, and Silma. Um, yeah, so the, if you like any of those, Silma's cool because Silma's free for everybody. You can farm her using the uh, the, the daily unlock for that one event thingy. And uh, Luel and Venera and Dario have all been around for a long time, so I'm sure a lot of people, if not most people, have these characters as well. So that is something to uh, unlock for you. Now, we're getting 12 million downloads celebration. This is just going to have some tickets. Now, these are for the card only. Uh, you won't be able to pull Lara Croft with these tickets, but you'll be able to use them on just the banner. You could potentially pull, like, any normal stuff that's not limited. And the Fruit of Life Vision card shards you will get in here as well. That's the ice card I was just showing off. Um, what else do we have? Double up item drop. Uh, story EXP double up campaign. Unlimited guild chamber. Ooh. I like these. Oh, I can't wait to talk about some of the other news in a sec. Hold on. Let's go there right now. Okay, no, let's we'll go to the other stuff in a sec. Raid boss revival. All right, I'm going to try to blitz through this. Raid boss revival. It lets us rerun raids that we have ran in the past, except it uses energy now instead of orbs. You can run them as much as you want as long as you have the energy. You can also do them in multi. They're done in multi. And you can just do them as much as you want because you can use other people's energy, not your own. And so... With those reruns, it also brings back all of these cards, uh, slash, most of these are espers, but not all of them are. Um, the Kraken, Demon Chimera, Tranquil Warmth, White Dragon, Lich, and Wintertide Bloomers. Okay, there's some really good espers in here. If you don't have a lot of espers, Kraken has some amazing uses. Kra Kraken was, like, MVP for me recently in a trial. Demon Chimera, amazing esper across the board. Uh, by the way, when I say Kraken was MVP for me, I mean the Esper, not the card, but they're all good. And here's the thing about these. You can unlock everything from these raid reruns that allows you to unlock the card and the Esper 100%. You don't have to spend any Vizior to pull anything. It's not RNG. You just farm the raids and you spend the coins, you buy the cards, and then once you own that card slash Esper... Um, they open up a another like in in the uh, in your quest section, a whole new batch of quests are gonna open up where you can just farm those shards for free. That's right, and they have nightmare missions too. So uh, get ready to take some challenging missions. But if you can't beat the nightmare missions, it's okay. You can just go back and um, and farm all the shards you needed from the earlier missions if you want. It will just cost a bit more energy, but you can still do it for a very easy, easy time. Um, so we're also, with these raid reruns, it's not only for those cards. 
all these recipes become available in the store. All right, I don't even want to read these all off, but I'm going to because it's going to be fun. Alexander, let's see how uh, easily or hard I can do this without stumbling over my own words, all right, without getting tongue-tied. Alexandrite Ring, Platinum Robe, Platinum Helm, Purple Lightning, Soul of Thamasa, Elf's Cloak, Defender, Defense Bracer, I messed up there, Galmia Coat, Winter Coat, Brigadine, Chocolate Flan, White Marshmallow Miniature, Crafting Recipe, uh, Knight Armor, Diamond Coat, Azure Dragon Armor. I wanted to say Dragoon! Um, black Garb and Survival Vest. I feel like I read that way slower than I wanted to initially. Um, these are the cards available from the exchange. I already read them. Kraken, Chimera, Tranquil Warmth, White uh, Dragon, Lich, and Winter Tide. You can see it all. You, you guys don't need me to run this. Okay, this is an interesting thing. So we're going to get the, um, the updated... Oops. The updated Fire Select. Fun fact... For me, Fire Select was the first Select quest that I ever, like, one-shot full cleared, like, right when it came out. I like Minwoo a lot. I use Minwoo a lot, actually. I was using Minwoo just earlier before required, uh, recording this. Um, I really do like Minwoo. But, uh, yeah, so maybe this will be one that'll tackle the 11 to 13 of early on. I don't know yet. But, um, yeah. Yeah. This is just going to be out, so more missions to do. There's a lot of stuff coming out this week, okay? Random battle quests. I don't even know what this is, but it sounds amazing. It says, random battle quests, face off against various random enemies in this quest. And you're going to earn crafting recipes for Thornlet, whatever. And I'm excited for this. I think this is going to be fun. Just the mission itself, like the actual battles. I think this is going to be sweet. And so is this next thing. Uh, the Beast Hunt quest, which is gonna allow us to unlock Beast Bane Pendant Accessory. Um, this is your chance to obtain recipes for the Beast Bane. Alright. Beast Hunt quest, where only Beast-type enemies appear, will be available from 00, zero blah, 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 blah. It's cool. I mean, look at this. Demon Chimera, which is an Esper that you're able to unlock from the Raid Rerun, is in this fight. What are you gonna do? You're gonna fight it. That's right. You don't even need the Esper to fight it, though. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think these all these missions are going to be fun. I really think they're going to be cool. I honestly, though, I feel like this is the kind of stuff, this beast hunt and this random battle quest, could be permanent content. They don't need to be limited, like, oh, you got to do it within these two weeks or it's out of there. This is the kind of stuff. They don't add that much permanent content into this game. But these are the kind of things I feel like they could just set them in there somewhere. I know, like, once you have too much stuff like that, it kind of gets, like, overcrowded. Like, if, if I open FFBE nowadays... And I'm looking through the menus. There's, it's way too overwhelming. There's like 18 different kinds of trials. There's like 47 different boss fights. There's just like 15 tabs. It's hard, man. It's so crazy overwhelming. So I guess that's good that this game doesn't necessarily do that. But at the same time, I do feel that there's uh, a little bit like lopsided in the uh, events in this game that come out that are just limited time events compared to the permanent content we rarely get permanent stuff we've had select since launch the only permanent things i can think of that they've ever added were selection quests which are amazing and the warriors of the crystal uh quests which are also amazing i guess all the key stuff they've added um it counts it's kind of in there and maybe these will show up in the key things but uh yeah i don't know it just i feel like they could use some more permanent content i'm rambling way too much this video is way longer than i wanted it to be what the heck we're getting more story we're getting books to farm uh guild map is updating updating this is one of the first guild battle maps we ever had this was like missile units galore you remember lucia's and frederica's running amok on this fight actually did we have lucia when we had this map i don't even know if we had lucia yet but we definitely had fred and uh this map was crazy. It was like, if you had missile units, you win. If you didn't, you lose. If you both didn't, then you're, you know, you're going to butt heads in the middle, and that's fair. But yeah, it was nuts when it was new. Anyways, here's the new features I wanted to get into. Oh my god, this is so good. There's so much good stuff today, and this is crazy because this video is way too long, so no one's going to even watch it. <laughs> no one watches the long ones. Um, but anyways, so they're making the token missions easier. All right, so for multi, you know how you need to clear multi 200 times? Yeah, you only have to do it a hundred times now after this change. Amazing. Now, that's not it. The monthly mission clear conditions for multi are also getting made easier. 
I don't know why. Maybe they see in their data or something that people don't run multi that much. I know there's some people that just run multi 24-7 and they don't stop running multi. But maybe, like, the grand scheme of people are not completing these quests fully. I know I have a hard time with the multi ones myself because I don't do that much multi, honestly. I like the just solo stuff because I like solo, gets affinity, gets, um... I know with solo you have to use a lot more energy. That's the downside to it. But... Um, it gets you unit affinity, it gets you esper resonance, it gets you, like, JP and all that kind of stuff. And it gets you levels and all this stuff for your full team, not just one unit at a time. So it's very good. Anyways, they're just lowering the requirements for the multi-missions in the monthly thing for both the tokens and the regular monthly missions. It's good stuff. Guild Battle Proxy. Okay, I talked about this a lot in my last week's video, so go check that out. I don't want to talk about it too much here because this video is already wicked long, but Guild Battle Proxy is coming, and it's cool. It's an all right thing, um, but my real opinions, go back and check last week's video if you want that because this video is long, 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 long. Now, there's going to be a War of the Visions FFPE community stream with Justin and Friends number 10. Um, it's going to be on July 28th, so that's not on the update day, that's the following day, and this is this always messes me up, um, but luckily people usually remind me, um, but def I am in every single one of these in the chat, not on the stream, but I am in the chat, I love these streams, they're a lot of fun, definitely check it out, they usually always give rewards to like EXP cubes, um, and the, the more people show up, the more usually they have on the line. So it's worth it. I would go to this if I was for you guys. And sometimes they even do giveaways and stuff. I can't tell you if they're going to do a giveaway or not this time. But they have done giveaways in the past. So for like really cool stuff. Anyways, it usually there's content creators. This time it's going to be... Ba -dum -bum -ba. Special guests. It just says special guests. I... Uh, Earlier, I swear it said who the special guests were going to be. Did they change this? It just said, earlier it said special guests from Japan. So I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just blind. I don't know. But either way, um, they're going to have special guests. It's going to be fun. These, these streams are always a lot of fun. So definitely check it out. I'll be there. And if you're in my Discord, I'll link to it as soon as it starts in the War of the Visions channel. So you guys will see the link there. Um, and other than that, uh, another thing that I wanted to say is I did procrastinate like 30 minutes in recording this video. And I'm glad because when I first started, uh, I think it was this. This wasn't up. They forgot to like put this section of the news up. But you could see all the other Lara Croft stuff. So you knew she was coming. So I was going to cover her anyways. Lara Croft is a big deal. She's amazing. And uh, But this gave me uh, more stuff to look at. We actually were... We saw that there's going to be a card banner, any banner for the unit, which, I mean, obviously there would be. But we also saw the big thing was the MA2. I couldn't find anything about her MA2 at first. And I swear this tab wasn't here. Maybe they did. Maybe it was there and I just was overlooking it in my freaking out. But eventually this tab popped up for me. And, uh, yeah, the MA2. So the big thing for me is the MA2. Lara Croft, welcome to the doghouse. Um, I don't know why I said that. Anyways, uh, I want to say that's about it. This video was insanely long. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Please forgive me for this long video. I know people hate long videos. I don't know. But um, have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out this long. High five if you hung out this long. That was really lame. But high five me anyways, please. Don't leave me hanging. Um, I'll be live with this game on Wednesday morning on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash djntp. And... Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I got. So thanks again for hanging out. Hope you guys have amazing luck. If you're pulling for Lara Croft or her... Well, you don't have to pull for her card, actually. It's free. Um, but yeah, congratulations, Crystal Dynamics, on your 30th anniversary. And... Farewell and goodbye. See you later. Blah, 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 blah.